Hello again, it's Lock Noob. Um, I just want to do this quick video regarding this uh, combination dial padlock here. Uh, it's, it's a really cheap Chinese made one, um, I got it for about £5. And uh, I just want to have a bit of fun with it really, see how we can get into these things. Uh, a friend of mine, when he saw this said, oh you can't pick that, and I was like, why not? And he said, well, you know, there aren't any, there aren't any pins, you can't put your picks inside. Uh, and I said, well, I think there's probably at least two ways I can get into this. Um, let's give it a go. Um, so the first way is um, to try and put tension on the shackle and feel the combination. Now, the combination for this lock um, can't be changed. It's written nicely by hand on the back. Um, so there you go. And... The idea is with this one is first of all clear down the combination um, just by giving it a few turns it doesn't really matter there we go and then I'd put um, some uh, let's just say light tension I'm going to push up my finger here to, to pull the shackle by the way you can probably hear that this is made of like the thinnest rubbish most rubbish metal in the world so I mean yeah, if you bought this padlock thinking it would give you any degree of security at all, you'd be terribly wrong. Okay, so I'm just putting some light tension on the shackle there. I'm going to turn it. Um, and it's a bit stiff, naturally. And I keep turning. And eventually, yeah, I literally can't turn it past that point. Um, then you release the tension. And the idea is is that you then turn it all the way round until you get to that point you were at before. Then you can put tension back on it and turn it. Um, there you go, keep turning. The other direction until it stops again, which is about there. About there, yeah. It's <coughs> yeah, <laughs> really can't turn it. I've got moderate tension on here, but you just can't turn it past that point. Then you let go um, of the tension again. Um, let's turn it back a bit and then turn this way. And then hopefully when you, there we go, get to the right point, it'll spring open. Um, I appreciate that uh, you might think that, because I know the combination, which I do, that I might have cheated and not felt any tension at all. What I intend to do in a minute is uh, is try to pick it blind. I can't change combination, but I can uh, I can blind myself by doing it under a, a tea towel or something. Um, another way to get into this is, and this explains why I've got a, uh, a a soft drinks can in the background, is that from one of these you can make, and I might make a video of it, a really cheap, very thin shim. You can use any brand of soft drinks can that you like. Um, I've not tried steel, I think this is aluminium. And um, I, like I said, I might make a video on how to how to make one of these with a pair of scissors. It's not hard. And another way to get into this um, is slide in your shim, turn it round in the lock, release the shackle. It really, really is that simple. Um, the shackle itself is held in with a very 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 light um l locking dog which you can just about see in there uh let me just go get a pick and i'll um show you how easy it is to get into there we go so you can just see here that the, the this 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 bar in here just just is un this is un i'm barely even touching it and it just slides back so um so so easy to shim all right so i'm going to Lock this back up, give it a good spin round, and I'm going to try and pick this blind. I've got a nice brand new tea towel with a dinosaur on top of it, and let's see what I can do. So, sorry, just to prove, it is completely locked up. And I'm going to try and do what I, I said here. So, add some tension 
and I'm going to go around and just feel for when it starts to bind it's bound okay now I know that I've got to um, let go of the tension turn it back one whole full turn put reapply the tension and keep going until it binds again which it has then I let go of the tension just move it forwards a notch and reapply and turn and hopefully there we go undone so uh, my big tip is if you're going to spend five pounds on a padlock um, and you think it's going to secure anything in any particular way uh, don't um, in fact I think the rule of thumb is don't spend five pounds on a padlock spend more get something higher security okay thank you I'll see you next time